So um, for my newest series, uh, Oasis, I've been just working with, uh, just continuing this idea of youth escapism. And I'm still referencing a lot of old masters, um, a lot of Bugro, a lot of Rembrandt, sort of, I, I really sort of enjoyed looking at Bugro's, um, just a lot of naked people just walking in the um, forest and just flying into the skies. And I thought there was something really comical about it, as well as a um, kind of a weird, um, dirty fantasy kind of thing. And I, I kind of see like a relationship between like today's uh, youth going into like Burning Man. And there's this whole like culture today of just you know, escaping from reality and going into wild to just be free in a way. So that's kind of what I wanted to um, capture here. And just uh, this quality where they're kind of caught doing that. So it's like when you're on the laptop looking at some images that you shouldn't be looking at and somebody walks into the room and you're like, oh. and that's the sort of moment I wanted to capture in these uh, images, yeah. So the models, um, I actually kind of uh, just made it an open call, but I just ended up using models that I really enjoyed painting, especially um, him and her, I really enjoyed painting them just because of their facial features and like they had a sort of interesting features that I wanted to paint. And in terms of palette, I actually had this uh, disco light. So I wanted to bring in some of like a weird artificial um, party light to the nature to even create more contrast. So in nature, like, you know, it shouldn't have this kind of colors, but I wanted to kind of uh, just juxtapose some of the artificiality into nature. So kind of uh, um, playing with the idea of like fantasy versus reality kind of thing and human versus nature kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I was involved in uh, Art with the Heart through different um, artist suggestions as well as uh, Brian Pell was uh, one of the, I think one of the big collectors and he was in a uh, jury as well for the, uh, Art with the Heart. And he came to my mocha show to see that large piece and that's where, I, uh, where he found me. And um, yeah, I was really honored to be in like such a sort of you know, great environment and also people have such positive vibes and just really encouraging warm attitude towards, you know, artist career and helping each other. And yeah, um, in terms of uh, when, when, when the auction actually happened, I was on the spot and I was just kind of like, you know, taking photos of that image when it went up and I was like, Okay, it's a little nervous, but if it stopped at 700, maybe I'm gonna raise my own hand and I'm gonna buy it back. But it kept going up and like there was 10 people raising hands. So I was like, whoa, this is crazy. And I was getting nervous and I was with my friends. So I was like, okay, I don't know like what kind of a reaction I should be making in this kind of situations. And, but, oh, this is exciting. But yeah, and it stopped at 6,000. I was like, whoa, this is just, incredible and yeah I was just really really um, honored and delighted to be in such a great environment you know. so I'm still working on the pieces for LA show I'm gonna start on just a semi large like maybe this size 24 by 36 inches piece um, so that's gonna be the larger size piece for LA and I'm just working on these bunch of small portraits and I'm calling it Trony is a term describe, um, describing these portraits done by different classical painters and masters who made these portraits that were sort of anonymous. So let's say a girl with a pearl earring by uh, Vermeer. So that's uh, sort of the idea of an um, anonymous person being portrayed in classical paintings. And that's sort of what I wanted to um, capture and also contrast it with the selfie culture, I guess. Yeah. Next year, I'm going to focus on making just a more of a personal body of work. Um, I'm trying to like sort of hold off on booking too many shows and just leaving it open so I feel a little less stressed and really focus on making a good body of work. 
Yeah.